it's because of things like this that's why when they were celebrating nigerian 63rd birthday on the 1st of october many people decided not to celebrate nigeria's independence and i was like why is it that people are refusing to celebrate our country's independence are we not supposed to be proud that our country is 63rd year 63 years old without any colonial masters then i came to realize that many people are still not happy with how nigeria is going we keep seeing how old that nigerian nigeria gets without all the fulfilling all the promises nigeria has promised us many people just use the statement nigeria will be great again but are we assured that nigeria will be great again nigeria has failed so many people that i can't even talk about like yeah you know you can't even explain everything in today's video we're going to be talking about this young lady and her children whom nigeria has failed welcome back to gossip meal Nigeria. i hope you guys are good i hope you guys are all right please kindly hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet done so there are certain things that they say if it doesn't happen to you you would not understand there are things you can only understand until they happen to you but you see this particular thing i don't wish it to happen to anybody i don't wish it to happen to anybody because guys the moment you understand that the moment you begin to realize how real life is is when your close people or your loved ones start passing on that's something you will never get over in today's video we are going to be talking about this young lady who is uh, married or who was married to this young looking handsome man whom you can see right now on the screen side by side this lady had given birth to a set of twins yeah happily married to the love of her life they went to somewhere and she was like she, she was coming back home with her husband when some guys came and took him and she was like what do you guys want now some of them demanded for 10 million naira which she succeeded in raising with her family members so those guys decided to call her and they gave her a location she was extremely happy that finally they have given her a location she will go and meet the love of her life little did she know that she will reach that area and find out that her husband passed on upon arriving there she found out that those people did not only take the 10 million naira but they decided to make her husband pass on she was in so much disbelief why is this lady blaming nigeria she's blaming nigeria because she felt like if the police were there to secure that area that kind of thing would have not happened that's the work of the police not moving up around up and down looking for yahoo guys here and there they are there to stay in some certain areas to make sure that there's security in that area well guys what can we say our ip to this man we know what it means for a loved one to pass on this lady would never get through it and the worst is when her children will grow up she'll be looking for a way to explain to them that their father passed on in such a way at times it's not even the fact that someone has passed on it's the way they pass on it's, it's you thinking about how they pass on that touches you a lot we hope that he's resting in a better place please my dear put yourself together may god give you the strength to move on well guys leave your RIP wishes in the comment section below has nigeria failed you in any way please if you have the strength why not leave your story in the comment section below i'm sure it will inspire and touch so many people stay blessed guys and stay tuned mm -hmm.